Hello, this is Andy Sanchez here for another machine tutorial. This time we're going to go over basically using the machine controller to create a sound and then we're going to go into putting the keyboard into pad mode and I'm going to show you about chords and uh, that's probably going to wrap this one up and we're going to move on to the next session which will eventually be how to make a beat. So starting here we're going to press browse on the machine controller. Um, you're gonna browse right here with this knob until you get to whatever instrument you want. I'm gonna select Massive for this uh, specific uh, tutorial. You can, on the second knob, if you've bought any expansions, you can browse through those expansions. For now, I'm just gonna press Load right here and load the three octave buzzer. So uh, you can see that that's loaded up on the first pad right here. And so what we're going to do is simply press shift pad mode. And at this point, you can see it's spread across all 16 pads. So now you can press pad mode, um, but see it's going to flash and toggle between two screens. What you're going to want to do is hold pad mode, press pad mode, up here at the top left, this button, it says pad mode again. It's kind of kind of weird. Um, next thing we're going to want to do is put this into a key so that it's easier to make a song and makes more sense. So you're going to use this first knob and scroll over to until you get to minor. And you can see right up here you have octave, then semi. The two semi, uh, minus and plus, that's how you're going to get to your root note of the key. Uh, so if you could see that these are bold, these three are bold, those indicate your root note. So what we're gonna wanna do is use semi minus and click down until we get to F sharp. Cause that's the key I enjoy to play in. Um, but you can select any key and at this point, what I'm gonna to wanna to show you is how to use the chord mode. So that's uh, basically just putting it into a keyboard mode with the scale. Next, I'm gonna show you a uh, chord mode. So I'm gonna to need to add another instrument. So what we're gonna do is shift pad mode to exit pad mode and select the second pad. Press shift pad mode again so we could put this all over it. Now, right now we don't have any instruments on here, so what we're gonna do is press browse again. We're gonna already be at massive, but I wanna put gentleman piano, so let's go ahead and scroll down till, till we see the gentleman. It's gotta be here somewhere. There it is. All right, and you're gonna go ahead and press load. I like uh, just a basic piano. If you want to load a different piano, that's fine, but for chord mode, it just seems to make more sense to uh, load up a piano. So um, here we go. Now, all we have to do is press pad mode. We're still in the same key, as you can see. Make sure you're always in the same key. F sharp, then minor under the type. Then with this third knob, it says chord right here, and then we're going to uh, turn it until it gets to harmony or harm. Now, that's going to be the 135. It's essentially just a triad, which is uh, three notes out of the scale played at equal intervals. So, essentially, one note uh, between each note that's going to be played. So, for instance, the first, the third, and the fifth note of the key. And if you move up, it's again just skipping one in between each note. So one, four, five, if you move this uh, fourth knob over, you can get to one, four, five under type. That's a power chord kind of uh, uh, chord, the one, four, five essentially on guitar. That's what it translates to. But uh, we can also scroll the third knob, which was the chord mode knob one more time and get to chord set under chord set we have eight major options so eight options that are in a major key 
So since we have our root note set to F sharp, it's going to be F sharp major. And these are full, really full bodied chords that can really evoke some emotion and really get your creative process going. Now we're going to go ahead and move on. If you scroll right here on the fourth knob a little bit more, past the eighth major, uh, we can get to minor. You can really make some cool stuff with them and really experiment. One more thing I want to show you, if you feel like sometimes the notes get hit softly, you can always put on fixed velocity and that'll give you a consistent volume and maybe you could go in and adjust your MIDI notes later if you want. Well, that concludes the chord mode and pad mode tutorial. So next tutorial will be how to make a beat and how to put this all together. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, see you next time.